everyone and welcome to Soma. This playthrough is going to be one of the very rare YouTube only playthroughs that I'm doing for this channel. This is a game that's been recommended to me many, many times. It's something that I've had in my Steam library for quite a long time. I've been meaning to get to it for a long time, but I just never did. And it just kind of happened to fit exactly what kind of game I was looking for to fill in the space on this channel for a bit until Elden Ring comes out. So I don't really know too much about this game. I just looked up that it's developed by a company called Frictional Games. It came out in 2015 and it is a survival horror game. Two words that kind of worry me a little bit. I haven't played too many horror games in my time, so I'm not really sure how this is going to go. And before I wuss out, we're going to go ahead and just start it up. So without further ado, only on YouTube, playthrough of Soma. Let's go. All right, guys. I really have no idea what to expect, which is always the most exciting feeling because it's those times where I feel like I am the most surprised and caught off guard by what I, you know, end up experiencing in the game. So, let's see how this goes. Game mode. Oh, God. Safe, normal. Oh, safe or normal. Um, safe. Monsters are still creepy, but can't kill you. You don't need to worry about stealth. Well, I would love to do that. But we're gonna do normal. Monsters are dangerous and can kill you. You need to think and sneak to survive. The way the game was designed from the start. Actually, let me turn the volume down a bit. Oh, subtitles on. Okay. I feel like this might be a little bit loud. You guys might not be able to hear me. Okay. New game, normal. Nope, normal. Start. If I have a heart attack, this is on you, Cactus. This is on you. Just saying. Reality is that which, when you stop believing in it, doesn't go away. Are you okay, Simon? I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Here, take this. No, that, that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Munch? Why is there never enough time? For what? Ah, ah. I already feel uneasy from just that. Okay. Right trigger to interact. Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you alright? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. Okay, so it sounds like he was involved in a car accident and suffered some trauma to his head. Where did I put the tracer fluid? might have some damage to his brain and yeah we're gonna go get a scan to see what's up what's this hey simon it's jesse you working this weekend or what i knew there was something you were doing was it this weekend or next anywho just shoot me a mail or something love you miss you mean it End of messages. 
I swear, that guy has the memory of a goldfish. I even sent an email to remind him, didn't I? Uh, okay, Jesse. Come on, radioactive tracer fluid. And Where Simon. Simon? I'm really bad with names, so I'm just gonna try to. <laughs> LB while holding an object to throw it. Why would we want to throw this book? Okay. It can rotate. Oh god, rotate. Oh, okay, that's cool. I like that. Um, I do. I do like that. How do I throw it? Didn't it say left? Wait. There it is. Okay. Okay, well, it's really dark and I can't really see much of anything. <gasps> wait, wait, what was that? Ooh. Ooh, postcard? No? Just a photograph? Interesting. Okay, let's put that back. What do we have here? Another photograph of something very mundane. You would expect to see pictures of people. A beetle? Okay, maybe a photographer. Maybe a photographer. Chair. Oh, I can even... I can even throw the chair. Okay, so you can interact with pretty much anything. That's cool. All right, another postcard looking photograph. Next. Dr. Aaron Peak. St. Mary Hospital, Toronto, Tennessee. Ace Lab. What's this? Well, that looks like a picture of somebody that we might know. Grimoire presents. Grimoire presents Robin McConnell meet and greet book signing. Oh, so that's that's uh, not a friend. That's that's the from the book signing. I would assume. Maybe, maybe it's someone we went to go. I don't know if he took a picture with somebody. Oh, look, here's a light. That might help. Oh. Okay. Uh. I need to tell you guys, if you guys are new here, welcome, first of all. And I like to explore everything. I like to read everything. I like to look at everything. So I hope you're into that because that's, yeah, that's what we're doing. Oh, in the beach, feet in the sand. Wait, I want to look at the post-its. Okay, I can't. What is this guy? He looks cute. We won't throw him. We'll be nice to him. We can even pick up a pen. He drew a little doodle of that guy. Um. Well, I can't really read that. I'm not really sure what that says. Oh, read text using the right trigger. Oh, okay. Get well soon. Love mom. Let me try this again. Oh, I can't read this one. Only certain ones. Okay, computer, computer. From David. Um, thank you for, thank you again for participating in our research. The scan will be performed at the Pace Laboratories in Toronto, but since we are guests, our access is a bit unpredictable. I will try to schedule a scan session for Saturday. I'll get back to you when confirmed. Research? Wait, so are we... Are we getting checked for like... Now I'm confused. Um, from Dr. Aaron Peak. This was sent before... Two days before David sent. I'm happy to hear your headaches have become less frequent. Your latest tests show your brain is slowly recovering, but it's still too early to tell how well it will adjust to the damage. The bleeding will continue over the coming months, at least, and you will need to come to the hospital a few times to drain the cavity to prevent the blood from building up pressure. Ooh, since excessive stress could be fatal, I have written you a prescription for prezosin 
to help you with your nightmares. Please read the instructions and medicate accordingly. Try to get a lot of rest and I will see you next week. So it sounds like he's in care. Um, and this David guy wants to scan him to do research. So it's like two, I guess the scan I, I'm thinking is separate from his, um, you know, care that he's getting. I don't know. Okay, so Jesse at the oh, Grimoire. Oh, hit send. Oh, he, oh, he works at the Grimoire, it looks like. Hi, Jesse. Since you probably forgot, here's me reminding you that I've got that doctor's appointment tomorrow, i.e. I'm not coming in to work. This means you need to make sure you're actually on time to open up the store, and please unpack the boxes behind the counter. They're starting to become a workplace hazard. Also, books tend to sell much better if they're put on shelves, where people are able to actually see them. Good luck, you'll need it, Simon. Let's send that. Better Perfect. late than never. Okay, we did it. We did it. All right, what do we have here? Mapping mines. Looks like it's very well read. Oh, widely praised is one of the most comprehensive yet accessible texts about the anatomy of the human brain, its function and our perception of consciousness. Find out how your brain is dependent on its body, why the brain is simply not a computer, and a multitude of other interesting facts that will make your head spin. This edition also includes two chapters about the development of the brain and how it affects our behavior in different stages of our lives. Fascinating. I find the human brain to be a fascinating thing. Right. Watching TV gives me headaches now. Thank you, brain. Oh, no. That's not good. That's no bueno. We got here. McDonald's. We got here. I it is way too dark and I cannot see that. Oh, we have keys. And what is this? Some mail to Simon. That's me. Um okay, cool. <laughs> and uh that looks like trash, so I'm not sure why I'm digging my hand in there. Oh, what is this? to do. Remind Jesse. We did that. Pick up meds. Flowers for funeral. <gasps> funeral? Oh no. Is that girl? Is it that girl from our dream? Nothing but fast food. I should buy something healthier on my way home. Fast food and TV dinners. Pizza. Orange juice. Of course. What was that? Okay, so we're looking for this medicine. Uh, not medicine, but some kind of fluid. Is it- am I missing something? Is it supposed to be so dark here? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. God damn it. Who put this table- why is this in the middle of the walkway, Simon? Oh, I can't turn the fucking light on. How am I supposed to find anything in this dark ass place? Oh god, I'm gonna struggle with these controls, aren't I? So... Wait. Oh, okay. Well, that makes a lot more sense. I was doing left stick. Okay. with me for this first episode guys there's some light okay do we have a bathroom oh open the curtains maybe yes yes summer's coming oh so much better it's oh, a good one for more cool looks like we live in an apartment okay is this our bathroom wait maybe the the thing that we need is here Yeah, soap. We wash our hands. You can pick up everything, but it's like you can't in really interact with it. It more than that. Is this it? No. Just throw everything in the sink. 
That's fine. Light! Light! Oh, there's bloody uh, towels. We can't pick up the towels and put them in the trash. We can just pick up the trash. Okay. Oh, maybe this is the thing we need. Is that it? No? Alright, hold on. Let me push some buttons here. Oh, what did I do? Oh, did we open these yet? There it is. Oh, okay. Gratitan. Gratitan. Oh, take it. It feels like milk, but the taste is like sucking on a penny. Ugh. Iron. Tastes like iron. Downtown accident kills young woman. Yesterday, a driver distracted by her children ran a red light, causing her to blindside a car in the intersection of Bloor Street and Spadina Road. The mother and her children traveling in a robust SUV were left bruised, but largely unharmed. The other party was less lucky. As the car crashed into the passenger side, Ashley Hall, 23, sustained devastating damages and suffocated from blood trapped in her lungs before the ambulance arrived. Her friend and driver, Simon Jarrett, 26, survived but with complicated results believed to leave him with permanent brain damage. Fuck, dude. I am so sorry. Cinema Variety, Summer Blockbusters, Japanimation, Bigger Than Ever. Massive Recoil, Flawless Execution 2 in theaters, in theaters, December 13th. Okay. Cool. What's this? Oh my god. Oh, that's how you turn on the light. The light switch. Brilliant. Genius. Let's get out of here. This place is depressing. But it also feels safe. Very safe. And I'm scared to leave. All right. Now we're on a... On a subway? Is that me? Hello? Jesse. Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after the scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris helping me out. Matty from SNL? Uh, guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well, I know. Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Well, good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole, you know, dying thing. <laughs> dying thing? You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. Dying thing? Is Simon terminally ill? This is a very strange conversation. So how many of you guys here on YouTube have played this game before? I want to hear. How many of you guys are seeing it for the first time with me? Let me know. Tell Hello? me everything. Dr. Munchie? Dr. Mushi. Where is everyone? I thought Dr. this place would be busy. Dr. Mushi. Open these. We're in... Are we in Canada? I didn't... Didn't I say Tennessee? <laughs> Where are we? Where are we? I don't know. I'm sorry. I saw like TN. Is that Toronto? Fuck. 
I'm so uncultured. Okay. So, I guess they're like renting not renting but like they don't really own the building so they're just kind of here to do their tests there's nobody here um so i guess we're just gonna snoop i hope i'm not covering anything here in the corner usually my live chat will tell me if i'm in a bad spot but well it's just me and and you guys from the future <laughs> From David Munchy. Scan now. Paul, where are you? We've got a few hours. I got hold of Simon Jarrett. Let's do this. I saw your laptop at the reception. Are you already here? Call me ASAP. Get your stuff ready. Hi, Paul. Talk to Pace about using the lab this week. I have managed to book the scanner for tomorrow morning and again on Friday. It's not a lot, but they said we could use the empty reception area as a kind of office. It would allow us to use their computers to run models and also if a time slot opens up. We can get in there and use the scanner right away. Scanner rig right away. I thought we could run some tests tomorrow. We could do a scan of each other to learn the equipment. It's supposed to be pretty easy. On Friday, I'm hoping Dr. Erin Peake will send somebody over. She has a patient that was recently in a car crash. Should be interesting. We're locked out. From Paul to David. Okay, so this is Paul's computer. I found some extra time in the lab today. Unfortunately, nobody told us about the code change. So I called security, talked to Professor Wei to have him vouch for our project, and finally got a hold of some honcho over at Pace's legal department that could re-grant us permission to use the lab. I'm not allowed to repeat the code in mails or texts, but I'll leave a note or something in case we forget. Okay, so we're going to be looking for a code on some sort of note notepad or paper or something. Okay. And they are not going to give me help reading this. Well, I see... Oh, is this the kind of game where I'm going to have to, like, write stuff down? Shit. I see a 2501? Maybe that's a code? 2501? What is this? Oh, that's a... Trial and error. Put your scalpel away. The brain can heal itself. You know what? I'm gonna read this. And you cannot stop me. The brain has amazing transformative quality. A plasticity that allows it to compensate and even heal itself explains Paul Berg, a graduate student in neuroscience at New York University in Toronto. It is this quality that Berg and his colleague David Munchy, a Munchy? Munchy? Munch, Munchy? <laughs> I don't even know how to say his name. A student of computer science are hoping to encourage. It's about getting the brain to do the right thing. And we hope to accomplish this with simple things like exercise, therapy, and light medication. But Munchy and Berg are not looking for a miraculous panacea. It's about finding the optimal treatment for each patient. They start out recording something called a Nakajima neurograph. It's like a picture that indicates direction. Instead of a static brain scan, the neurograph can tell us where your brain is going. So, uh, in picture label number one, damaged brain scanned to produce computer model, numerous tests conducted on model without risk, and three, perfected treatment when is then applied on patient. Okay, it is not a long forecast. It's about milliseconds, but with the right computer model, Berg and Munchy can then administer all kinds of treatments without risking actual harm to the real brain. We could try giving your brain an overdose of painkillers while running a marathon. Mar yeah, marathon, suggests Berg. It's just a computer model. We were able to fail treating you a million times over only to find the right way. 
And when they do find that optimal treatment, that's when they apply it to the real patient. It's still in the early stages, but their project has caught the attention from PACE Laboratories, who has promised to assist them with both equipment and workspace. We are very fortunate to get all this support, says Berg. Now we just need to get out of the limelight and actually do the work. So Munchie there on the left and Berg on the right. Okay, so now I'm starting to get a better picture of... Ooh, what is this? Flash drive? Wait, 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 that... Can I grab that? No? Yes. Can I put it in the computer? Can I... Oh my god. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Where'd my hand go? Okay, so basically, they do this 3D, 2D, 3D scan of the brain. They do it, they scan the brain, and they put it in this, uh, like, simulation software, like this program. And they try all different kinds of treatments, um, you know, to the simulated brain until they find the proper one. That's interesting, didn't notice that before. Oh, here's that dam, okay. I don't remember what the number is that we saw. Ooh, water, fuck yeah. Okay, so that's, so Pace Industries is helping them with their research and um, we are a patient of Pace, I think, or somebody who works for Pace. And they have referred us to um, these guys, Munchie and Berg, to do this uh, experimental research. Are we all on the same page? So 2501? Can we do anything with this? No, okay. Two, five, zero, one. Good. I'm glad that worked, because I wasn't really sure. Oh. Left trigger to run. When they start giving you weapons or the ability to run, like the ability to defend yourself or to run away from danger, that's when things get a little bit scary. Okay, so J uh, James locked. Ooh, what is this? Stars collide. Fire hose. Nope. First aid. It's all locked. This room is open. Oh, oh, there's a person in there. <laughs> Wait. Okay, hold on. First things first, let's go in here. Okay, light, light, light. I'm enjoying myself so far. I like exploring. The nervous system, it is about 10, a little bit after 10. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh. I'm not sure if that should just be left laying around. Well, I don't see much in there. Okay. Is that you, Munchie? Is that you? Hello? Oh, hi. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie. But I'm working on it. Actually, you're helping me right now. Is He's, this part of your thesis it's work? It's not even a doctor. Yeah. It's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. Cool. Yeah, I'm ready. 
after I do a little snooping. Don't mind me. I just really like touching things. I can talk to him so, again. So, what exactly are we doing? We're going to do a scan of your brain. Mm -hmm. Then we build a computer model of it and bombard it with stimuli. The program will help us to quickly iterate your treatment plan until it's fully optimized. In short, develop the perfect treatment for your condition. So it's not just a study. This will actually help me. Well, I should hope so. Otherwise, this would be a huge waste of time. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Talk to him again? No. All right, strap me in. Just get this out of the way. Excuse you are Simon me. You're Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. Toronto, Canada. My brain's all fuzzy. Born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat neurograph, version 6. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. Is that so? Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> what do you mean, let's Ready? hope? Say cheese. Provolone. You killed me, David. You killed me. What happened? Hello? Mr. Munchie? Did something go wrong? Oh, fuck. Oh, this isn't funny. It's so dark. Um. I, I'm not supposed to put myself in... Light. This is kind of stressing me out. Be quiet. This, place. this isn't where we here? where we just were. I can figure this out. I just need to stay calm. No need to make things worse. Hey. Hello? What am I doing? Oh god. Did I break the game? Hello? Oh, oh okay. Um, I'm not sure why none of the buttons were working. You know what? I'm just gonna take some frustration out. What is all this shit? What is all this? Where am I? What's this? Fuck that cub. What are these, like, spacesuits? I think I should probably grab one. Oh, and boots. Ooh, I like the... I like... I like the look of this place already. It's very cool. I don't know where the hell we are. Service console. Omnitool chip. Installer. Yes. Okay, I can read that. Um, toolbox. Yes, I can read that. Toolbox. Insert Omni Tool to access. Insert Omni Tool. Is the Omni Tool in the toolbox? Hello. <laughs> I don't know how the mechanics work in this. Hey. <sighs> yeah. I want to bust it open. All right, hold on, hold on. Calm down. Don't panic. That did not work. Did we miss anything over here? Oh, I kind of freak out when, like... I kind of freak out 
with my chat not being here, I'm so used to them being here. So that, like, normally I will try to figure out everything on my own. But if I get super stuck, then I, get, you know, people will help me out. But now it's like, I don't have anybody to help me. And I don't want you guys to get bored of me just being stuck on something. But, um, let's see. Oh. Okay, so they do want me to throw. Oh, you know what? We could just break the glass, maybe. Here we go. Need to jump. This reminds me of a little bit of the original Unreal. We're on this huge prison spaceship kind of thing and all hell breaks loose. You wake up and like everybody's gone. There's dead bodies everywhere. You're escaping from the prison trying to figure out what the hell's going on. This reminds me a lot of that. Pneumatic seal. Tech Depot. Ooh, break room. Okay, security, observation, thermal plant. Can we open this. this thing. Get shit out of here. Hello? David? It's me! Simon! My brain's all fuzzy. And I don't know where the hell I am. When they put my brain in the simulation, am I like living out the simulation? That is not the impression that I was under originally, but how else do you explain what the F is going on? You know? How do you? Do we want to go? All the way in here? I feel like I didn't explore out there very well, but... I guess we'll just keep going. Whoa. Hey, you. Can you talk? Can you talk like the others? Are you talking to me? You talking to me? Why are you like this? Like you what? want some structure, Joe? Yeah, you do. So weird. Doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna shut you down now, okay? Yeah, you're creepy as hell, so I'm gonna shut you down. How did I do that? Um... Hello? How do I crouch? Hello? How do I crouch? They didn't give me the proper tools to survive. Wait, so I don't even understand what just happened. Hey you. Can you talk? Can you talk like the others? Okay, I don't want to do it again. Why are you like this? Are we a robot? Can I see like a shadow of me or something? <laughs> Guys, I'm really bad at stealth. And they didn't even teach me how to crouch. This 
was a mistake. Um, RB and left stick. To lean. I am already regretting this decision. it at all. I don't like any of this. Honestly. Is this not open? Can I do... Okay, B is crouch. <gasps> okay. <laughs> I was just gonna say, let's hurry this along. Because I can't really do much right now. Oh god, guys, stealth, stealth and horror. Why am I Why am I playing this? I'm gonna die so many times. Okay, things are getting fuzzy. Does that mean something's getting close to me that I don't want to get close to me? Is that like a warning that I'm in danger? a party in there without me we should totally go in here what's the worst that could happen right here lean lean okay it looks safe there might be some guts on the floor but as long as we watch our step and don't slip and fall yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, we're gonna crouch forever. Wait, no, stand up. Open? Omni tool. Why can't I open this? Okay, I don't know. Maybe I can't can't do that. Or am I pushing the wrong, oh, wrong button? There we go. Omni tool. It's an advanced interface for accessing, managing, and controlling computerized systems. Includes an open set of behaviors and protocols to enable the use of automate routine actions through basic logical charts. It'll over time it will automatically adapt its programs to cover subconscious behavior to optimize work and minimize user error. It has a short range signal useful for basic or automated actions such as opening doors while performing complex operations. The Omni tool should be physically connected to a workstation or terminal to upgrade your device. Your device simply slide operators into the main or auxiliary slot. The main slot has a standard C1121 connector which allows the user to fit most market Cortex chips. Okay, note that introducing an additional AI will override the onboard intelligence. So do we get this Omni tool and then we can like connect different things to it to get like higher access and different abilities and an and AI friend maybe? The auxiliary slot is a multi-connector fitting a large range of toolchip models including but not limited to those. A01 is version 2.5 a02 helper jane 
Okay, I like Helper Jane. She seems useful. So how do I get an... Oh, right here. Oh, it's mine. Helper Jane. Jane, I'm Simon, and I don't know where I am. What? I can't... What button do I push to see my inventory? This, the menu button. What is this? Oil? Oh, hell yeah. I got some safety scissors. Y'all fucked up now. Y'all fucked up now. I'm coming for you. I'm gonna stab you with this. Okay. I get startled easily, so I probably scream a lot. Just ignore it. All right, so I got this Omni tool. I don't know what to do with it. Oh shit! Was I going this way? I just feel like this was a horrible idea, and things are gonna go horribly wrong. But I'm gonna try, okay guys? I'm gonna try. have my scissors anymore. Ah! ah, shit. Ah. I'm already killing myself. <laughs> this is all bad. Hey. Hello? I will fuck you up with this. Okay, guys, I can't see. I can't see shit. I feel like there's something very important mechanically that I might be missing. You know what? I'm just gonna real quick Okay, so lean, throw, run, interact. Yes, good. Okay, so that is my inventory. That button I was trying to push, but nothing happened. Jump, crouch, flashlight, rotate, and move, and look. Okay, so... Alright. I guess we're just... Still... Acquiring things. You know. Denied. Jane, you are not very helpful. Flashlight. I don't have a flashlight. Fuck. I can't see! So that's where we shocked ourselves. Like, 
That hurts my eyes from trying to strain so much. All right, let's go back. Maybe I missed something in here. other side of this gate so maybe did I not is this new I don't have a map oh my shit this the first episode is just gonna be me running around lost okay there's a light let's lean 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 Run, jump. Okay, just make sure we know the controls. Shit. I went back, didn't I? Like, back, back. I apologize in advance. What's this? Oh, wait, wait, wait we found something. We found something. It's working better than expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. Call Permaseal as many as you can. Rather not take any chances. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? All done. Should keep most of them out. I'm on my way to lock off the comm center. Just make sure to leave a way out of here. Trust me, I'll get you the data safe and sound. We just need to make sure we're leaving our power running so we don't have to return. I hear that. See you back at camp. Really? Really? Need a fucking flashlight. This is ridiculous. I don't think I'm meant to be here yet until I get my flashlight. I'm just getting that feeling. So there's like no, no way. We found a toilet. Why did I do that again? It's, it's just gonna be the than same. They're having dialogue. a really hard time getting the doors open. Call Permaseal as many as you can. Rather not take any chances. Roger. Did you come? Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh. Oh, we came back. Okay, this is good. Insert Omni tool. Scanning Omni tool. Service console up to three, including pilot seat activated. System status. Okay. Remote access denied. Servers offline. May power suspended. Program unreliable, denied emergency systems, 13 days remaining. Oops, um, back. Progress scan, Simon Jarrett. That's me, David Munchi. <gasps> Gosh. Manage tool chip. Your Omni tool is in perfect condition, but not fitted with a tool chip. Note that without a tool chip, your FST kit will be unavailable, including your cross-site security access. To continue using your designated privileges, please insert a tool chip and run an update. Well, I don't mean to keep looking out. I'm so sorry. Cortex chip. We are being serviced by the default onboard intelligence helper, Jane. Installing a Cortex chip will override the helper and may severely alter your user experience. Unlock toolbox orientation. I know they told you that field technicians would get full access throughout Pesos 2. I'm here to tell you that's not gonna happen. Don't get me wrong, I don't wanna get in your way, 
We need you guys to keep this place up and running, but there needs to be at least some level of security on these things. I don't want to hear you barge into some quarantined area at Omicron and just knock down the whole place with some virus or whatever the hell they're doing over there. Virus? Omicron? This is what you can do. You'll be able to use it to open doors, basically all of them. If you can't, there's something wrong or someone didn't want you in there. Then what do you do? You shove that Omnitool into a terminal and see if you can't get around it somehow. I mean, sometimes you'll need to get into places where you don't belong. Just find a way. You're an engineer for crying out loud. What else? Take care of your gear. Don't be an asshole. That's about it, really. My name is John Strohmeyer, Pathos 2 security operative. I got an office at Thetum. Come see me if you got any issues you can't handle yourself. Good luck. Yeah, I need to go to that guy's office. Okay. Ooh, is this the tool chip, whatever? Yeah, give me that shit. <gasps> oh, tool chip. Ooh, tool chip. Okay. Do we get a Cortex one too? <gasps> oh shit. Or is this just another tool chip? Okay, so manage tool chip. Update. Ooh, look at me go. Figuring shit out. Tool chip. Tool chip security cipher. Updated. Updated. Okay. No other chip yet. Cortex. Not yet. Pilot seat in progress. Instruct network. Offline pilot status, no pilot found. Okay. Reports. Pilot Carl Semkin support Amy Azaro. Vehicle tugger. Task replace heat shields. Southern flu. Results success. Note, Semkin reported uncharacteristic levels of nausea after mission. Diagnostics show a spike of electromagnetism surrounding the pilot helmet, which is believed to be the cause of Semkin's systems. No indication to what created this anomaly. Attention! The pilot system has become increasing, increasingly unreliable. Everyone who's been using it the last couple of months has been having headaches and spells of nausea. Last week, Gavin was knocked out for 30 hours when trying to direct a helper cluster. This is not acceptable. We will figure this out, but for the time being, I'm shutting down the usage of the pilot system. This means you will have to do some more heavy lifting, perform the operations through programming or physical labor. No one is happy about this, so don't bother complaining. Jane Adams, Chief Factor. Hell yeah. Now where's my flashlight? Hello? Okay, so now we have more access. And I don't believe we went this way at all before. So let's see. What's over here? Did we? I don't really recall. This is just a stinking dead end. So boo. Boo to that. Seriously, the darkness... It's just really straining my eyes. Okay, can we do this now? Yay! Ooh. What is... <gasps> Are we under 
water. Oh, it's like Bioshock. What? Are we... Is this a... A water vehicle? Or is this a spaceship that is now underwater? God, I really hope the recording is going okay. I really hope everything's working out here. This is so cool. Some drawings, some sharks. Oh gosh. Like nothing happened, everything still looks the same, all silence alike. Ooh, jellyfish, jellyfish. Hammerhead shark, pufferfish, eels. Back and different thick structure gel they can't shake. Freaky fishes. Freaky fishes. Oh, water. Drink that. Can you drink that? I am absolutely fascinated by deep, the deep ocean, basically. Um, it horrifies me and fascinates me at the same time. It's, it's horrifying, but it's so interesting. It's just like, there's so little we know about what's actually down there, you know? In the depths of the ocean. Okay. Security. Observation. Can I help? I don't know. Can I? Hello? Ah. Oh, don't. Don't ah. it. What was that? You poke it. Look at that thing. It, it doesn't hurt anymore. Oh, it doesn't hurt anymore. I don't know where a good place to stop this recording would be. I know it's probably been about an hour. So I think we can go a little bit longer here. Is it like auto save? Hold on. Save and exit. It doesn't even let me save. <gasps> what the fuck? Okay. Feeling a little bit claustrophobic in here. just happened but that lighting effect with the sound effects very cool very scary push this button no no bueno we'll come back later
station control. That seems like it might be a useful place to be. We get in here. There's more of this black goop. All right, stand up, Simon. Stand up tall. Station control. Oh, note, note, note. Don't touch the structure gel leakage. Can't confirm its effect on WAU. AU issue has been reported to SSC Wolchez. Oh, hello. Are you okay? Are you seeing the blocks? Insufficient power. What's this? Hold on. Error. After an unexpected shutdown. Oh, I'll hate it when that happens. Hey, can you hear me? Hello? Unplugged her. Get back. Insufficient power. Oh. I need it. Well, fuck you, I guess. Why? I was okay. I was okay. You just murdered her. Manual boot sequence. Um, do we have power now? Oh, is this a puzzle? Shit. that I needed. I guess. Oh, what is it? What? What's happening? Hello? Hello? Is there anyone there? I'm, my name is hey, Simon. Hey, can you hear me? I hear you. Uh, Absalon, what's going on? Uh, I, I have no idea. I, I just sort of woke up here. In the room right now? Uh, it, it was it was like a, a seat with a helmet. Is that right? Uh, what's your name? I, I'm Simon Jarrett. And what are you... Oh, so, damn relays. Where are you now? Uh, uh, uh someplace dealing with electrical power. I, I'm not sure if it's a plant or a transformer. Uh, yeah, you're probably in a the thermal plant somewhere. You want to go upstairs to the comm center. It's the room with the dome ceiling. Uh, hey, look, look, this place is not... There's something seriously wrong here. Hello? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. We lost another relay. Just listen, head for the comm center upstairs. I'll wait here. Comm center upstairs. Okay, well. 
I think, you know, hopefully we had enough excitement. I kind of wanted to... I was waiting for something, like, to happen before I ended this episode. But I think we have a good... I'm going to stop moving around because I just have a really bad habit of talking and moving back and forth. Okay. <laughs> I think we have had a pretty nice introduction to the game. Uh, lots of mystery, very cool atmosphere, sound design, very good. I'm very intrigued to see exactly like what is going on and what is that weird, creepy alien thing that we have had glimpses of and have heard running around, but I'm sure that is the monster that we have to run away from that we can actually die from. So maybe I should have put it on easy mode. I'm kind of wondering if like we physically are here in this weird station, which wouldn't really make sense to me. I wonder if we're still strapped in that chair and David Munchie is, you know, overseeing this process that we're going through in our mind. I'm wondering if at the end of this, we're going to wake up still in that place where we first strapped in with Mr. David there. And he's going to be like, well, you know, everything went great and we know how to cure you now. And <laughs> we were just living like this nightmare in our mind. I don't know. I really am not sure what's going on, but I'm very intrigued to play more. Actually, I'm going to play some more right now, but you guys were not going to get to see it until a couple days. But I hope you guys will return. I hope you guys enjoyed this and leave a comment, um, please. <laughs> Even if you're watching this months or years in the future, still leave a comment because I still read all of the comments and respond to them, even for playthroughs that are, you know, from the very distant past. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching.